Hi everyone, Phil here. A less common use of the T test today. We've got a multiple linear regression model. This is the estimated model. We're doing part 3b test at the 1% significance level. This, that, the slope coefficient on this guy plus 2 times the slope coefficient on this guy is 0. Such a restriction uh, test is called a test of a linear restriction, it's a linear relationship between the betas here. If you're doing a course in econometrics you'll learn that when you've got so many number of linear restrictions you want to test in your null hypothesis we can do that using an F type F test but if we've got a one li linear restriction as here we can actually do it using the T test. I'm going to show you how doesn't mention that the uh, one tailed here test at the one percent significance level test this so let's just suppose it's a two tailed test the test statistic for the t-stat if you remember is the estimate of coefficient divided by the standard error that standard error being the square root of the variance of that estimate now we have this so we treat this whole thing as it's kind of like one thing so our estimate of this minus the hypothesis value divided by the standard error of the estimate of this thing as I've written here standard error being the square root of the variance now the crucial thing here is um, calculating this so to work that out we just need to recap on a couple of rules covariance covariance let a be a constant non-zero x and y be random variables then covariance rule says that the covariance of a x with y is a comes out covariance of x y so we can compute this in terms of the covariance of x y the variance rule variance of a linear combination is equal to this plus this plus the covariance and if we apply this rule here and this can be written to a covariance of x y now apply these two equalities to this variance we get okay that's better we get this expression then we can put in the numbers Let's look at the question it's given us the covariance between the two betas it's using Roman to denote the estimated uh, ones so that's this number here the question says the standard errors are in parentheses uh, this is a bit offline that goes with that one oops no that goes with that one this one goes with that one okay that goes with that one so the variance of beta 2 will be the square of the standard error for beta 2 hat 0.18 squared plus and four times square of 0.1 plus four times the covariance it tells us between the two estimators or less estimators is that okay work that out all right we have this number at this stage you can check your answer if you get a negative answer then you've done something wrong because remember the variance is non-negative so we've done like the key part all that remains is to substitute this and all the numbers in back into this e equation the test statistic one okay and over here so the test statistic that's the estimate of beta 2 hat that's that number plus 2 times beta 3 hat that's where it is okay so test statistic is 0 0.31 it's way less than 3 you're doing asked to do the test at the 1% level so you're not going to reject the null However, if you just wanted to get the critical values anyway, suppose we're doing the critical value approach, we're going to check with the uh, t distribution table of t distribution with degree of freedom equals to n minus p. Here you're told you got 92 observations minus number of parameters 1, 2, 3, 89. 
And if you were to look in the t table, that comes to be the critical value t critical, let's say, is equal to 2.6323. This is less than that, this is not greater than that, so we do not reject the null. Okay, just let me label the steps to finish at step one, step two, step three, step four. Since finish it off since t is less than t crit, do not reject the null. The one percent level. Something to think about. If you you could run, do this test using the F test, and if you want to go ahead and do that, you're going to find that the F test is going to give you a squared value of this, and your conclusion, of course, will be the same. Yep, I hope that makes sense. Um, so, see you in the next one.